We are surrounded by narcissists in our homes, offices, schools, heck, you even watching me could be a narcissist. Don't look surprised, don't. Who is a narcissist? First, I'm going to tell you the story of how that term or that word, a narcissist, came about. So there was this guy, his name was Narcissus, right? He went to a stream, stream, spring, he shall went to drink water somewhere, call it a spring, okay? And he got to the stream or spring to drink the water and then he looked into, you know, of course, you have to bend to scoop water now and then he saw his reflection and he said, oh my gosh, how can one human being be this fine? Okay, so I am paraphrasing, but you get what I mean? <laughs> so it was like, how can one human being be this fine, be this good looking, be this gorgeous? This guy felt he was too fine, that he couldn't remove his eye from his own reflection. Like, he stayed there. I don't know how long he stayed, but the story says he was there for a really long time. He didn't scoop water out, because you know when you take the water, it ripples and then you disturb the, the surface of the water. Mm. He dare not touch that thing because lest his image disappears. So he didn't touch it, he didn't drink his water. He stayed there, he was starving, he was thirsty until he pined away and died of thirst and starvation. Yeah. So that was what happened to Narcissus. And so the story goes that because of that stuff he was doing, the self-love he had for himself that did not allow him move away from his own reflection, that's how the term a narcissist came about. I'm sure many of you have heard that story, yeah? So from that story, we can safely say a narcissist is one who has an overbloated ego or an overbloated image of themselves. You see yourself to be all that and a bag of chips, like the next best thing to sliced bread. You're so beautiful, you're so handsome, you're so educated, you're perfect. Your standard is, is the standard, like you are the bar. Wow. A narcissist is one who thinks of himself to be all that. Very, very important, you know, you feel like you're all that, I've said that before, you feel like you're all that and more. You cannot take criticism. Like, who are you, a mere mortal, to criticize me? Now, there's nothing wrong in having high self-esteem, do you understand? Of being confident, of being charismatic. You know, you have that personality, that charisma. There's absolutely nothing wrong. But it becomes a problem when you start hurting other people due to your own self-importance. Do you get it? They tell you every time, be confident, be have self-esteem, be self-assured. Yeah, that's not a problem. I love it. In fact, I think everyone should have all those attributes. But you see, the moment you start hurting people due to your own self-importance and your own self-image, your over-bloated ego, then you are a narcissist. There's like, there are no two ways about it, yeah? But I know that it's confusing. Some of us are so confusing. How do we know when we're dealing with narcissists? I'm going to share some of the signs with you. I'm telling you this because I have encountered, uh, uh, well, I can talk, say one person that man, she exhibited all the signs of a narcissist. But first, let me introduce myself, especially to those who are coming across my channel for the very first time. My name is Ify and this is Ify's Kitchen, okay? Um, if this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you're an old timer, thank you so much. Yes, I cook a lot. We cook on this channel. We share beautiful, amazing recipes. But sometimes I just like to talk to you about real life situations, true life situations from my own lens. Do you get? Great. So I was about to share with you signs you should be looking out for to know who a narcissist is. I've told you one already. As in self-importance. You are too much. You are the baddest person on, on the block. You are the finest. You are the two shares. Everything is you, you, you. You are self-centered. Basically, you are selfish. Yeah. That's sign number one. So anybody who is just all about themselves, you know, they're all that, then just just be looking at that person, you know, from the corner of your eye that, hmm, hmm, 
but look out for other signs before you conclude do you get great so second sign you should be looking out for you always want the best now not you but that person always wants the best of everything like you can't stand it when other people have better things than you you want to have the best clothes the best shoes the best cars the best houses like it has to be you 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 once you see other people having better things than you you become angry you become jealous like ah oh, goodness gracious a narcissist a narcissistic person is not like it's, you're not fun to be around with must everything be about you must you be so self-centered anyway so if you see that person likes to be regarded as highly important the person wants to have the best of everything and the person is jealous when other people attain these things then you are most likely to be dealing with a narcissist okay now the third sign you should be looking out for is a narcissist is manipulative they always think they always want you to believe that you're the problem they never take responsibility for anything they've done. It's always you, you, you. You are the problem. They make you feel bad. And then if you don't have high self-esteem of, of yourself, you tend to think that you are the problem. I once had an issue with a narcissist. I told you I've encountered one, like 100% a narcissist. And then she offended me. The next thing, she wrote me an epistle. That was, you know, she tried to itemize, write out everything that I had done. I was like, wow. This person did not take responsibility for anything. It was me, me, me. And then, you know, she wrote it out to make anyone. I don't know if, if you are, if I done something to you, why would you write out everything like that? Is it to remind me of what I've done? Or so if someone should ask, oh, what's the issue or what's the problem that you can quickly send that message or what? When I said, I was like, what, what are you doing? Well, you know, I recognize the narcissist in that person. So, you know, I was like, I know what you're up to and I'm not even going to indulge you. They're very, very manipulative. You're always the problem. And then they tend to gaslight people a whole lot. Like they're, they're, they're cracking an expensive joke. You're offended though. And the next thing they're saying, can't you even take a joke. I was joking. They never, they will not apologize to you. They will just flip the switch. You are the person who can take a joke. You are the person oversensitive. You are the person wrong. Do you understand? So they gaslight people a whole lot. So once you see someone who is manipulative and tends to gaslight people a lot, just know that you may very well be dealing with a narcissist. I'll, another thing you should be looking out for, they are very jealous. Oh my goodness. Why should you have better things than them? Well, you can link it to the first or second point that I told you. They always want everything about themselves. They want to have the best of everything. And if they can have the best of everything, why should you? They become jealous. That's just who they are. They cannot help themselves. They are also, they are very jealous people. So that's another sign you should be looking out for. They have what you call superiority complex. They are better than everybody. I'm telling you, do you know anybody like that? I mean, those signs are beginning to make sense to you, right? They're better than everybody. This one is beneath me. Uh -uh. The way I run my show, the way I do my things, the way I do, the way I dress, the way I look, they are just better. But you know what I think? Underneath that superiority thing going on, deep inferiority complex lies there. It's my personal opinion, that's what I think. Because happy people are happy for everyone and you know, they're just happy generally and they don't care that another person is better than them or it's not really so important for them to feel more superior or better than other people. But when you have a complex, when you don't feel you're enough, then you tend to show, you tend to lord it over people that you're better than them. You're having discussions. They want to dominate the discussion. They want to show you that they are more intelligent. They know more about the topic than you do. Watch out for such people. They very well could be narcissists. To deal with a narcissist, the first thing you have to do 
is to learn about who they are, which I have just told you about. So you've been educated on how to identify a narcissist. So that's step number one, identify them for who they are. So once you see all the signs, I say, okay, this one, no, you're a narcissist, eh? You're a narcissist. I've seen you for who you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to follow you in that way. Just, just you go on. Number two way to deal with them after you've identified them. Number two, you have to build your own self-esteem. You see, one of the things that probably attracted you to that narcissist was the person's charisma, that person's confidence, which you will soon know is more of arrogance. Do you understand? So you were probably attracted by the person's, you know, self-esteem. You know, when, when people, confidence is very attractive, but there's a very thing like between confidence and arrogance. You'll quickly see that the um, a narcissist is more of an arrogant person, but on the face of it, the person looks confident. So that could easily attract you to that person. So, um, yeah, so once you're attracted to a narcissist and you now know that this person is a narcissist, you have to build your own self-esteem. You have to become sure of yourself or else this narcissist will dominate you. That's what they want. They want to dominate you. They want to make you feel less superior to them. They want, they want to... Ah, they, want, they want to step on your head, basically. They want you to defer to them. They want you to worship them. They want you to look up to them. And you're not going to allow that. So once you know you're dealing with a narcissist, take some control back. Take your power back. Develop your self-esteem so you can stand up to them. So you can be assured of yourself you don't look up to them that they are all that and a bag of chips no 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 because guess what you too you are all that another way to deal with them is avoid direct confrontation guess what narcissists they they thrive on your emotion they act you react they act you react they want to see you lose control they want to see you react they want to see you lose your emo lose yourself they want to see you become emotional that's who they are so please 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 when you know you're around the narcissist you're dealing with one just avoid confrontation it's better to just you understand you see their game don't engage don't react you've taken their power from them just keep calm just when they are when they are gaslighting you, when they are manipulating you, just look at them in your mind. They're like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I see you. I know what you're doing, and I'm not going to give it to you. Because once you don't react, you are taking their power from them. They want your reaction. So see them for who they are. See what they are doing, and don't react. Don't play it calm. Be easy. Take control of your emotion, and just be calm. All right. They thrive on your reaction. Just remember that. They thrive on your reaction. Don't give it to them. Another thing you must do in dealing with a narcissist is enforce. No, before you even enforce, you have to create boundaries and enforce it. Do you understand? They're talking harshly to you. You tell them, no, 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 no. Don't speak to me that way. And before you can talk like that to a narcissist, remember what I said at the beginning, you must have built your own self-worth, your self-confidence, your self-image. You must have built it, all right? Now, when you, after you've done that, you can now create boundaries and tell them when they start talking harshly to you or they start manipulating you, you know, you just tell them very calmly. Remember what I said, don't engage. Don't be confrontational with them. Just tell them, no, you cannot speak with me or you cannot speak to me that way. When you see them trying to dominate conversation, always steer the conversation back to the topic. Don't let them, you know, dominate it. Steer it back because you know, you know, you've watched my video. You've listened to me. You know what they're doing. So when they start going off on themselves and how important they are and how beautiful and how intelligent, steer the conversation calmly and nicely back to the conversation at hand right and in enforcing boundaries you tell them don't do that to me don't speak to me that way don't act that way you must make sure that you carry out your threat do you understand if you speak with me this way then the conversation is over once they start speaking like that just tell them stop it if they don't stop it don't say anything much end the conversation stand up and walk away do you get Stand up and walk away. So whatever you tell the narcissist you're going to do, 
make sure you see through. Do not give empty threats, all right? Create your boundaries and enforce it. Let them know you are no pushover. Don't be confrontational. Just stay to your boundary and enforce it and you see them respect you, okay? Another way to deal with a narcissist, trust me, I've dealt with one, so I fully understand this. Remind yourself, tell yourself you are not to blame. You see, their whole aim is to make you feel you're at fault and you're to blame. But always remind yourself, no, 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 I'm not to blame. I know this person for who they are. They are a narcissist. They want me to feel bad. I am not to blame and I am not going to feel bad. So tell yourself that. Do you understand? And do not react. They want your reaction. Don't forget. Narcissists love to make promises. Promises that they don't want to fulfill. They have no intentions of fulfilling it. They know what you want to hear. They will tell you what you want to hear. For example, they'll say, I'm never going to speak to you. I'm never going to talk that way to you. I'm never going to manipulate you again. I'm never going to um, bring myself above you. I'm no, 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 no. They're just promises. So whenever they make promises to you, always insist that they carry out that action immediately. They don't, they should stop making promises because that's what they're very good at. Making promises, I'll do this, I'll stop that, I'll do this, I'll do that. Mm -mm action immediate action let them know you're not going to take less all right tell them stop making promises and immediate action if they don't act on what they promised then you don't fulfill your own re their request to you or anything do you understand you just stay back don't do your own part unless they fulfill their promise and you have to be firm and resolute these guys know what they are doing though. they are master manipulators they are and guys I'll tell you something, if you cannot deal with a narcissist or you've been trying, you've been trying to deal with one, don't even try to change them. They cannot change. It's not your fault. It's probably a trauma from the past or it's in their gene. It's just something. So don't try to fix them. Don't try. And you must know when to walk away. If things have been going on for too long, your mental health is also very important. If you know you can't control the situation anymore you can't you can't help yourself you've been trying you've been trying all these things i've told you don't be confrontational don't be direct don't let them manipulate you don't react don't do this don't do this you see after all these things you've tried but the situation is still very bad and is making you go crazy right please walk away walk away know that walking away is strength by itself when you said I can take it no more. I can't help you. I can't fix it. My, my life is important to me. My sanity is important to me. I can't deal with you anymore. Walk away. Don't let them know you're walking away. Don't tell them what you're doing. Just, just do it. Just give them less access to you. Okay? Just walk away. Walk away. And then lastly, if you cannot walk away or you've walked away or you need help, you need to see a therapist to deal with the after effect of dealing with a narcissist. Please seek help, okay? Sometimes the narcissist lives with you. The narcissist is a partner. The narcissist is a baby daddy. The narcissist is someone who you're sharing child custody with. The narcissist is your seat mate in the office. The narcissist is your, is your boss. Like you cannot escape this person. Seek help. Have a support system, someone who can help you, someone who can advise you, someone who can hold your hands to deal with the situation. There is no harm in seeking help. It doesn't make you a weak person. It does not make you a weak person in any way, okay? So you either walk away or you seek help in dealing with the situation. This is your real life situation. This is a real life problem. Okay, and I want you to deal with it. A narcissist could be abusive, emotionally, even physically, which is even worse because you're always at fault and they want to dominate you. So please seek help and know when to walk away. This is a serious issue, all right? I care about you and your mental health is very, very important, okay? So I know that by the end of this video or by now, we know who a narcissist is. We know the definition of one. You can identify a narcissist and you know how to deal with one. 
please seek help if you need more help on the matter okay thank you so much for watching and um, please like and share this video and i'll see you in another video really really soon okay i love you and take care bye